What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwid and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video here on my channel and today guys I have something really interesting that I found online when I was searching around today and it has to do with how to get Madden 15 super super cheap even potentially free and I put that in quotations because you are going to have to do something to get it but it's actually an epic way of getting the game and you can actually make way more than what the game is worth so what I'm talking about is that Walmart is actually doing an extra trade in value uh coupon or I, I guess I don't know what you call it like a uh, a promotion, I guess you would say. And actually what they're doing is they're going to give away 50% extra on all trade-ins tonight. Uh, or for, uh, I guess, at all. I, it doesn't say specifically when it ends. But uh, at least this week for Madden 15. Now what you have to do to get that extra 50% is you have to buy Madden 15. It can be for any console as far as it, it looks like anyway on their website. And you can kind of see it in the background here behind me. Uh, in this graphic here, I took a screenshot of their ad. And what it basically says is that you get an extra 50% trade-in bonus on anything as long as you purchase Madden 15. So that means that games like Madden 25 that are now becoming irrelevant as you get Madden 15, you can trade that in and get actually a really nice price for it. Uh, on PlayStation 4, you're going to get $10 as the, tr the base trade-in. It's roughly $10, like $9.96 or something like that, plus the extra 50% 50, 50 so that actually brings it up to $15. Now on Xbox, I saw it, I think it said it was $29.99 or something like that for trade-in. So we're talking like a $45 trade-in on Madden 25 if you do that tonight. So I don't know what the discrepancy is and why it's uh, so much more expensive or so much more valuable on Xbox One versus PlayStation 4. But for those of you that have the Xbox One... There you go. It's an extra little bonus. Um, like I said, you do get an extra 50% on all trade-ins. So I am not only going to be trading in Madden. I'm also going to be trading in a bunch of other games. I've got uh, Call of Duty. What is this? Call of Duty Ghosts here. And this one is 1326. This is for PlayStation 3. Now, these are the prices before the 50%. So uh, let's see here. This is Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Uh, $6.12. So not worth that much. But I'm never going to play it again. So whatever. Uh... Beyond Two Souls, $9.58, and all these are PS3 right now. Now, Grand Theft Auto V, I, I don't really know if I want to trade this one in, but I'm really thinking about it because of this extra bonus. This one is $28.05, $28.05, so add on another 50% onto that, and uh, you know, you're talking about a $42 trade-in. That is pretty damn nice. You're never going to get that from GameStop. Black Ops 2 on PlayStation 3, $19.07. And then I've got MLB The Show here, which I'm still so damn frustrated that this game sucks so bad. But $33.66, they're going to give me $50 for this game when I trade it in today. $50! bucks. I bought it for $60. How can I complain? I got $10 worth of use out of it, at least. Uh, and then I've got some older ones here. I've got FIFA 13, which is still $7.33. This one's on Xbox 360. I got WWE 13. Uh, this one's only worth $4.55, but again, never going to play it again. Uh, and then I've got, let's see here, Call of Duty Black Ops for Xbox 360 is 918. And then I've got UFC Undisputed 3 for 786. So altogether, I'm looking at almost a $200 trade in value tonight, guys. So I'm going to get not only the Madden Ultimate Edition, Madden 15 Ultimate Edition, but I'm also going to get like $120 in gift cards. So I am ecstatic. I just wanted to let everybody know about that. I wish I could have got this video out a little bit earlier so that I could have allowed more people to hear about it. But hopefully you guys will see it before you go in and make your trade-ins tonight. Um, I'm not sure exactly how Walmart's going to handle it, but you might potentially, like say you buy the game and you, uh, I guess you probably need to not open it, but I'm not sure exactly how that works. Maybe if you uh, if you bought the game at Walmart, uh, which I know a lot of people are because they're they're open 24-7 24, 24 in a lot of areas, excuse me for the burp, um, but yeah, so it's potentially something where you might be able to bring them the receipt the next day and trade in your games if you want to, but I, like I said, I just wanted to let everybody know about this because I didn't know about it, and I don't know why nobody made any videos about this, or if they did, I didn't see anything, Thought you guys would be interested. If you liked the video, make sure you press that like button below. If you have any questions or anything, I hope that I can answer them for you, but I'm not a Walmart employee, so I don't know. I'll let you guys know if my experience goes well. I'm expecting it to. I called them earlier today, and they said everything is good to go on it. I asked them specifically about the games, and they said, yeah. I said, what if... 
what if I'm over the amount that Madden is going to be going for? So what if I'm over the uh, 70 bucks or whatever it is? And they said, yeah, we'll just give you a gift card. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm very happy for that. Uh, some of these old games that I'm never going to play anymore, getting great value out of them. I absolutely love that. GameStop is just awful for trade-in. So I'm really happy to see that Walmart's doing that. I'll go the extra two miles or whatever it is to get to Walmart as opposed to GameStop just so that I can get my extra money. So again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you press that subscribe button. We are going to be doing plenty of Madden 15 stuff. I'm excited to go get the game here in a couple of hours. I hope you guys are too. And I will see you in the streams. I will see you in some videos. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches in the comment section.